The Hudson River is an estuary between its mouth and Albany, over 150 miles upriver. This means that tides reach all that way up the river. This long distance is unusual, and it is why some Native Americans, the Lenape, called the Hudson the river that flows two ways. Estuaries also have areas where the water is salty and areas where the water is fresh. Generally, the water gets fresher as you move away from the mouth. As you move upstream away from the ocean, you reach a point where there's very little salt. The point along the river where the salt is low enough that scientists consider it fresh is called the salt line. In the Hudson, the salt line usually moves from about the Tappan Zee Bridge to Newburgh Bay, depending on what is happening along the estuary. Incoming tides push the salt line upstream. Outgoing tides pull it back down. Lots of rain might make more fresh water come into the estuary. This could push the salt line lower down the river. Drought upriver means less fresh water coming down. The ocean water pushes further up the river. In this case, the salt line moves upstream. There are even places in the river where there is salt water underneath the fresh water. The most interesting thing about the salt line is that the kinds of creatures you find in the freshwater sections of the river are very different from what you find in the saltier or brackish waters toward the mouth. You are looking at a freshwater marsh located in Nori Point State Park, about halfway to Albany. Compare that to the salt marsh in Piermont, much closer to the mouth. Quite a difference, right? You see the same thing if you look at the kinds of fish in the river. Many fish move up and down the river following the kind of water that they need. You might even find a few saltwater fish in pockets of saltier water underneath their freshwater neighbors. What a complex place the estuary is!